Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video. Today, uh, Make Beauty is in the spotlight. So basically it's another brand overview. I will be using every single product that I own from Make Beauty and just let you know what is worth your money and what is not worth your money and just an overall review of the brand as a whole. So if you want to know what Make Beauty is all about, then just keep on watching. Okay, my lovelies, so we are going to start with a base product. I have their skin tint. They don't have an actual foundation that they offer in their line. This is the Diffusion Dew. So like I said, it's a skin tint, and just like the Makeup by Mario, it does have some like um, glimmer shimmer particles in it. They're very small, and you can see them like when the sun is hitting you very slightly, not like, you know, Edward from Twilight, and not like that, but you can definitely see there's a tiny bit of glow to it. So yes, it's a glowy <laughs> skin tint. And if you're an oily girl or guy, probably not gonna enjoy this, but I personally do enjoy it. I have seen a couple of the YouTubers that I watch feature this brand on their channel. And the vibe of it is a very um, my skin but better natural beauty kind of vibe. Uh, this is shade 04. And I'll be linking everything down below. Consistency is very, very watery of this product. Uh, and I'll also put the price of everything right next to um, the link or before the link. So this product here, I enjoy. It's really nice. It's very skin-like. It just gives you the most beautiful natural glow. It's very hydrating, very hydrating. Yeah, I, I just really enjoyed it when I first purchased it. I think I wore it for like two and a half weeks straight like as many times as I could, you know, for those two and a half weeks. So I have a good, you know, opinion of what do you think about this product. And I would say that the brand itself is more in between high end and like affordable. So it's not super expensive, but it's also not like affordable brand prices. Okay, so here is what it looks like. And you can see that there is a tiny bit of glow to it. I personally don't mind. I set all of my foundations, tints, whatever, anyways, all the time. Real quick, I went in to the Wet n Wild Serum for my whole face to rehydrate. I went into this Maybelline Master Prime for the perimeters of my face and the Danessa Myricks in my T-zone. Since this product is a pretty glowy one, I like to make sure that my T-zone is going to behave and not pop out all the oils. Um, I did use a Sonia G Jumbo Base brush to blend it. So far, a brush is my favorite method of blending this tint right here. And the glass is bottled. So the aesthetics of the brand itself, I do really enjoy. And every single product does have the name make on it. I wonder if you can see that. I thought that was pretty nice. Okay, now we're moving on to concealer. This is the Skin Mimetic Concealer, and Skin Mimetic is like an ongoing theme for the brand. The CEO of the brand, is she the CEO? 2021? 2020. So they pretty much did a revamp of the brand. I feel like they were mostly known for the skincare products and then they started incorporating makeup into their uh, brand and now it's like skincare and makeup. I have not tried any of their skincare but I hear great things. So that's on my list to try. This concealer I purchased in the shade 05 medium warm and I believe I watched Nikki LaRose and um, I think she used shade three. So that's kind of what helped me decide what shade to pick. This is a very thin formula, very thin. This is the tint and down here is the concealer. A very, very thin consistency for this concealer. 
I personally like it. It's a very hydrating formula as well. Okay, we're going to use the BK Beauty 110 to blend this out. So you probably cannot build this up to medium. I would say light medium is probably the most coverage you're going to get. It's a very hydrating product. So if you have dry under eyes, this actually might be for you. But if you're looking for like a lot of coverage, maybe use... A color corrector to help with that it light medium i think is the most coverage you're going to get with this product but like i said it's very hydrating and it just feels so good on your skin it almost feels like you're putting a very hydrating under eye cream that provides a little bit of coverage to your under eyes but yeah the ceo she actually was part of the formula development portion like she has a background in developing makeup formulas which i feel kind of makes this brand a tiny bit unique you know you have a ceo that's in the formula in the chemical or chemistry aspect of the products and like she's running the company i don't know i just i felt like that was very interesting to learn okay and here is what the skin is looking like it's looking very hydrated very like natural i didn't add any more of that concealer i felt like the amount i used was perfect for my personal taste and i'm just i'm loving how my complexion is looking right now i did forget to mention that the bottle of the concealer is glass and it does have a little window where you could see how much product you have left and i did swatch um and on camera but that's what the doe foot looks like i do enjoy it i think it's the packaging again nice and it does have make right here on the cap but yeah loving loving i gosh i pick up the products and i remember how much i enjoy this brand okay now we're going to go into one of my favorite products that um I was very impressed with when I introduced this brand to my channel and that is this little stick right here. It's the Heat Stroke Dewy Gel Cheek Tint. <laughs> it's a long ass name. The shade range on this and I'll put a picture up here. Wow it is amazing. I purchased the shade Swelter and that's because I purchased this in a bundle. What did I get? I think I got this blush and a lip oil. So that's what it looks like. It's definitely more of a darker kind of shade, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to dip my brush into the blush and you could swipe it and then blend. It does work that way, but this is just the way I'm doing it today. This is the BK Beauty 112. I don't even have bronzer, but that's okay. I just want to show you this blush in action because it blends out so easy and like a dream. Like I have never worked with a blush that blends out this easily. And I've used it on top of powder as well and it works just as good on top of powder, which is amazing. It does not stay tacky, this product. And it's just, it's so good and I want more shades. Like, do you see that? So, so pretty. Oh, I love this product. It's like so good. Okay, so I already set my under eyes and my whole face. So this concealer actually lays down pretty well and um, there wasn't too much creasing before powdering, but I always have to powder the formula is so thin that I feel that if I didn't, it would move around too much. And for the tint, it's such a dewy product that I have to set it down. If not, my oils in my T-zone just go crazy. And I cannot use the powder from the brand itself. Um, I will be using it. This powder that they have, it does not contain the dewiness of the tint. So like to me, I would rather have a powder that contains the dewiness from the tint in case it's too much for you. But um, I'll talk about that when I feature the product or I use it. Um, I did also want to go over the packaging for the blush. So it's gold at the bottom and then silver and it has the make there on the top. I just, I like again, the aesthetics of the brand itself, I enjoy it. A lot okay now we're going to jump in to some bronzer and here is the bronzer make right there bottom is silver 
and that is what it looks like. So this is called the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Bronzer and it's a powder bronzer and they have six different shades. I purchased the shade Aura. It's the second lightest shade that they have to offer. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. It feels very, very silky smooth, like it says, almost like suede. It's really nice. Okay, I also did purchase their, um, what is it? Powder brush. It's like a universal powder brush. This costs $30. <laughs> that's quite a bit of money just for one brush but i will say that it's super soft and it's actually very heavy duty it has weight to it the whole handle here is like mm, some kind of metal and then it does have make beauty right there well not make beauty but make right there so we're going to put this on and i do enjoy this formula i think it's really nice and it blends like a dream it truly does no contour today I did try the powder that they have in the brand for under eye, like to set my um, concealer, but I didn't, I didn't really like it. Okay, so that's what the bronzer looks like. It's a very natural kind of bronzer for my skin tone. I definitely feel like I probably could have gone with a third shade, but I didn't know how pigmented they were going to be. Um, I don't mind having to build up but um, I have to build it up just a tiny bit more than I wish I'd had to. For the powders, I forgot to tell you, I'm all over the place. I used the Makeup Forever HD Loose Powder for my under eyes, and I used the Dominique Cosmetics Translucent Powder because this is the only powder that actually kept my oils at bay all day long with this. I tried a good amount of powders and this Dominique Cosmetics was the only one that was able to contain my oils. But here is the face and I feel it looks so, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, I don't own an eyebrow product from the brand. So let me go ahead and do that off camera. And I don't think they have any eye products like eyeshadows. They do have eyeliner and mascara but I don't have either of those. So let me just go ahead and do my brows and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, back. Eyebrows are done. Lashes, got some mascara on there. I did get a tiny bit on my lid, but I'll um, clean that up here in a minute. Now we're going to jump into the newest product that I own from the brand and that is their new um, powder blushes. These were released, I wanna say, gosh, it must be a couple of months ago. And I'll put a picture up here of all of the beautiful colors that they have to offer. So this is the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Blush. It's the matte powder blush, and it is available in 10 different shades, which is amazing. Okay, here is what the packaging looks like. So, one of the things that I enjoy from the brand, and I would love to know the meaning behind it, is the different tones that they're using for each product. So the blushes, it's orange caps. The bronzer is blue. The powder is the silver. Yeah, so I would love to know why they chose the color that they did for each product. Just a little. <laughs> Fuchsia Flush, which is a almost like bubblegum pink, I don't own too many blushes in this shade, and that's why I picked it. I'm gonna swatch it right here. It looks a tiny bit scary, but it's not. The pigment is not bam in your face right off the bat, which is nice because I did see some reviews of the new House Lab blushes, and it seemed like a lot of people had to tread very softly. I'm going to use the Make Beauty Powder Blush. I did wipe it down. I am going to tap it, and I'm going to add the blush like see i tapped it and then it's like still just like a flush of color and not like a ridiculous amount i enjoy that i enjoy formulas that you can build the pigmentation up rather than having to tread very softly because it's really annoying when you can barely dip your brush into the product because if you dip it too much or like a normal amount the pigmentation is ridiculous that i don't like but this is such a pretty formula i do feel like their formulas are kind of unique 
because they kind of like when you I don't know if you could see when you blend it it almost looks like it just sinks in to the skin like here the bronzer and then the blush like now that it's been sitting here on my skin it literally looks like it is part of my skin I'm talking about the powder formulas that they have I do feel like the formula is a tiny bit special okay I definitely feel like the fuchsia pink doesn't look ashy on me at all because I feel like some colors that are like this they can I guess when it's more of like that baby pink, they can really look ashy, even if you're like the lightest skin tone. I did see a couple of reviews of the new one size blush, like that Barbie pink, and I think it was Babs Beauty and somebody else. It looked ashy on them, almost like they were putting straight up pink chalk on their cheek. So this one does not do that. If you've been looking for a fuchsia pink like this, I think you'll really enjoy this one. Okay, so just two more products and we're going into the powder next. So like I mentioned, this powder does not hold my oils in, especially when it comes to this dewy skin tint that they have. It just doesn't. So I mainly use this as a uh, finishing powder when I use this skin tint. Okay, so this is the Diffusion Set Translucent Pressed Powder and it comes in five different shades so it's supposed to be kind of translucent I purchased the shade light medium and I think that is the second to lightest shade this is what it looks like I do feel like the powder provides some um, actual like coverage not a lot it's right here but since I'm only using it kind of as a finishing powder it should be okay and I'm using a very fluffy brush this is the BK Beauty 104 the fluffier the better I feel like especially if you want to get just a very diffused powder application so I dipped my brush in and now I'm just going to lightly use it in the areas around where I have the foundation picking through it's a nice powder. It's a nice one. It just doesn't hold my oils like I wish it did. At least not with this little dewy skin tint that they have to offer. Okay, and now comes the last product I own from the brand. Uh, I feel like this is definitely the product that they are known for the most. It is the Serum Balm Intense Pigmented Lip Emollient. To me, I would call this a lip oil, not an actual lip oil gloss and again the shade range is absolutely beautiful they just have so many fun shades to pick from and they also have muted shades as well so I'll put a picture up here because I feel like that's one of the standouts when it comes to this brand and the first thing I think of when I think of make beauty so here it is and it has a little window where you could see how much product it has I picked up the shade nude Nova and like I said I got this and this in a little bundle they do have a couple of bundles on their website which I feel is a great way to save I think it's like 10 or 15 percent that you save on the product where am I gonna swatch this because I'm all out of room on this hand <laughs> okay so I'll go down here and move my Fitbit down it's a very pretty almost like a terracotta kind of shade it's right here the most interesting part about this product is one the texture it has no smell to it at all but if you do get a little bit of it in your mouth it tastes sweet so it must be one of the products in the formula because it has no scent at all it smells like makeup this the texture of this oh my goodness every time i use this my lips feel so plump so rejuvenated almost like i did a lip treatment it's not going to last because it's like i said kind of like a lip oil kind of formula i can very easily just put a lip liner put this little lip oil on top and it's perfect absolutely beautiful okay so i am in front of the double doors in my bedroom just so you could see what the makeup looks like with sunlight almost right directly in front of me well right directly in front of me but you know what i mean <laughs> 
me facing the window where all the natural lighting is coming in through. And your eyes look so, so good. Base is looking beautiful. I don't think you can guess that I have just a skin tint on, could you? <laughs> okay, so I do remember when I tried this product, the skin tint, that I was having some dry skin issues. I do feel like the tint can cling on to dry areas. So if you have super dry skin where you have, say, peeling or just dry spots um, and maybe even uh, like active acne that has dry spots around it, this might not be a product for you. And also oily peeps, this might not be a product for you. But I mean, you can try it out. I think with the right primers and the right setting powder, it should work. But I'm I'm not dry, nor am I oily. So I'm speaking just for myself and my skin type. I will have all of that information down below if you want to check it out. Because uh, I do know that helps a lot when it comes to complexion products. But I feel like this makeup looks so pretty, so good. A very natural, my skin but better kind of feel to it. Because I do feel like that's what the brand is is that's going to pretty much complete the application portion so let's go ahead and jump into our outro and final thoughts all right my lovelies i enjoy doing overview reviews of brands as a whole especially when you can do almost a full face with just one brand because you can really tell what is their strong suit and what is their weakness in the line and for me personally when it comes to make beauty i feel like they have so many strong suits every single thing that i have tried from the brand i absolutely love the only one that i can think of that um didn't really work to my expectation i need to try it out with like other foundations is the powder it is a nice powder and it works beautifully my skin looks really nice after putting it as a finishing powder but um it just didn't contain my oils and that is the only bad thing that i can think of of everything that i have tried from this brand because i enjoy everything so much and i do think as a whole the brand is a good one a really good one now i still need to try the skincare i still need to try because they do um have eyebrow products and a mascara uh, it is a my skin but better kind of brand so if you are a full coverage queen this brand is not for you and you probably won't enjoy the brand as much as i am so if we have similar tastes then i do think that you would enjoy this brand i feel like a lot more people aren't talking about this brand because it's not available at any retailers it's just available on their website so i feel like if they were to come to ulta or sephora they would do so much better but that's just my personal opinion okay well my lovelies that is going to conclude this video and this brand overview um make beauty is i feel at the top of my list of favorite brands um and i can't wait to keep trying stuff from them and i can't wait to see what else they have in stores all right well thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you you have no idea all the comments all the likes if you use my links to purchase something it truly all means the world to me and you're supporting me more than you know okay well with that being said i would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel and if you haven't done so already i would love it if you joined my small youtube family by clicking the subscribe button i would love to have you Okay, my lovelies, I will see you on the next video. Bye.